the things that we were a little concerned about as we did some research and did some freedom of information requests is that we found that the town of Oral Valley was really the one pushing the Shannon alignment and pushing basically these grid system roads. Um, it wasn't state land that was pushing that. And you can say you're hearing us, but we actually really want you to do something about it. We want you to not just shake your head and say you hear us. We want to see in the next proposal no more grid system generally around the state land. Because honestly, just like I said before, this design pushes all the traffic to our front doors. Mm -hmm. And that is not fair or being a good deal. So to be clear, the section line road issue is something the town has pushed because it's the most efficient and direct route. It's the most okay. flexible. It's the most efficient. Mm -hmm. So that was our starting point. And as I said earlier, we do see a route to move that. Not, we're not going to commit to doing no section line routes through entire development. Um, with all due respect to efficiency, that may be the place to start. You are altering completely the nature of this neighborhood. So quite frankly, I don't think efficiency is the place to start. That may be a place to end, but your judgment of efficiency and these people's judgment of efficiency collides at the alteration of the flavor of their neighborhood. Because as I look at these specs on here, they're rooftops. I'm looking at the blocks of the houses that are one on top of the other. That's telling me that those blocks are roughly half the size of the houses that are there and you're gonna bump people shaving in the morning. You have changed the nature of this neighborhood significantly. So I realize a straight line may be efficient, but that's not fair to these people. And I hate using the word fair. It's probably unacceptable because what that does is it so significantly changes the flavor of the community that it blows up the, the general plan. 